I'm Louise. Friday is currently scared of the wasps over here, and this is my channel. I love a dressage. <laughs> actually kind of exciting because i don't normally get to go with freddy to the treadmill because i'm at school so we're gonna go there and i've been told that there is also a film set filming at the location so that's very exciting well, it might be a tv show but there's something filming at the location where freddy has his water treadmill so yeah stick around for that i didn't feel like i needed to film a lot of the morning routine because that's basically every single video that i've filmed so far but we need to get fred in because he's the one that's going places today Fred, you ready to walk in water today? I want my breakfast first. I'll take that as a no, but you get treats afterwards, so that's a plus. Do you turn down, Tiny? You ready to be caught? Cool? Also, let's just ignore the state of my hair because I've got to brush it, and that's all you need to know about it. But I do need to take Freddy's um, rug off, and I need to put his feet out, so yes. Let's do that. Um, also, can you tell that I haven't really had any sugar or caffeine or anything yet today? It's gonna be a fun day. I love you. You're quite special. So I just need to groom Fred a little bit, put his travel boots on, and I need to put his turn on a table towel bandage. I don't normally do for travelling, but needs me to towel bandage to go in the water treadmill. Tiny, would you like to say something to the camera? Okay, the message understood. I need to give you a hey now. Percy's been popping up on my TikTok. I feel like we should say hello to him. He's been really annoying today because he pooed in his feed bucket. And last night he was crazy in his field, but that's because he went into new grass. Also, he has gone into a habit of wearing one boot, which that one looks broken. Um, not his other front one. So, well done, Percy. <laughs> um, sorry for the terrible lighting here. So you've been wondering how big Percy is, and he's roughly, thank you, roughly 16 one, but we haven't measured him in a while. And 16 two. Yeah. You're famous now, Percy. Hey there, friend. Just checking Fred has all his shoes and picking out his feet so that when we go to the treadmill, he doesn't make it all muddy because that'd be pretty rude. <laughs> Hello. Point across. Tell about this time. <laughs> Now 
Brad has been going to the water treadmill for quite a while now, so I don't want to say he's an expert, but he understands the whole thing. He really likes it. Um, the water is a really nice temperature. He gets treats afterwards. It's just a really nice chill experience. All the people at the water treadmill are always really lovely and always give him pats and compliment him as well. So while that probably boosts his ego, it does have him feel more sad thought as well. The height of the water that Fred gets at the moment is just kind of below his knees and the water treadmill actually goes up into an incline. There's a little screen so you can see whether they're walking straight or whether they're walking wonky. That's one of the good things about the treadmill is it means that the horses have to move on their own without having too much help from riders. This means that they have to work properly on their own. This is especially good for me and Fred seeing as I've ridden him for such a long time that my weaknesses have also become his weaknesses. But yeah, as I said, you might think that putting a horse onto a treadmill filled with water would be a really scary thing. And to be fair, when he first started going on it, he wasn't entirely sure of the whole thing. But now you can see, he's as relaxed as anything. He really enjoys it. You might be wondering why Fred's tail had to be folded up rather than just in a tail bandage. And the reason is that it means that his tail doesn't drag in the water. And then if he does, slash when he does poo, it's easier to catch in this little, I don't know, it's like a little bag <laughs> it doesn't hurt him it's just folded up below its dock so it's not his bone or anything it's just his hair the session that fred gets isn't too long in the grand scheme of things but it is a proper workout for him We're back at the yard and I need to get Freddy all ready because the competition season is starting to come up again and he's looking a little bit dishevelled. Had a clip thanks to my sister Alex, which is very nice. He looked very fancy with it. But as you can see, his legs and his mane and his tail are looking a little bit iffy. So we're going to try and sort something out today. One thing that makes it harder for Fred to be kept in like show condition with his mane and tail is that he has a curly mane and a curly tail naturally. They grow in ringlets, it's very cute. But it means that it's very thick and it appears very thick, which is not ideal for plaiting. <laughs> you guys but the way that i like to wash fred's tail is first of all get it all wet sometimes he doesn't really like this like the day that i was doing it although it was warm it was kind of you know it wasn't the best day so he wasn't really all here for it especially as he had been to the water treadmill before um but yeah that's how i like to start off <laughs> Normally he's a complete angel when you're going about washing his tail, but I think just because he was a little bit tired, he wasn't all here for it. Okay, so the shampoo I'm using is this shampoo bar from Sea Change Now, and it's literally lasting me, it's gonna last me more than a year, so I would highly recommend them. I'll link down below. I'm not sponsored, but they're environmentally friendly, and there's no plastic. It's very good, and it cleans very well. Obviously next I've actually got to put the shampoo in Fred's tail because that's what's going to make it clean. What is not going to do much on Fred's tail? To do it with a shampoo bar is obviously slightly different to how you would with regular shampoo, like out of a bottle, that kind of thing. For the shampoo bar, basically you got to get it wet and then you just rub it onto his tail. It's really easy. It has like, I don't know, the packaging also helps it kind of rub in. I don't know how to explain it, but it's very intuitive and it works really well. I don't know if I said that before. It makes it really shiny. I can't recommend this enough. After you've rubbed it in and got the shampoo all the places that you need to, I think you can also use it on his body, but I was in a bit of a rush, so I just did his tail. Um, then you just rinse it out like regular shampoo. And then as you can see here, I'm spinning it dry. <laughs> Next, they gave Fred's tail a much needed trim, as you can probably see. And then, well, I attacked his mane. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't show any of that, but I have thinned out Fred's mane. So I actually run my fingers through it, which is very fun. He's standing over here now because there are some wasps. And he's scared of wasps because they hurt if they sting you. But yes, this is Fred. Also, I don't know if you saw, but his tail 
is all dried now. Look at it, it's all curly. It's very fun. So I'm gonna put Fred into his stable. Hello. I think you're very pretty now. Yeah. 